sometimes all you want to do in Divi is just to be able to change or tweak the size of an image a little bit so it fits into your design a little bit better. You can go ahead and like crop the image. That's not what I'm talking about here, but I'm talking about inside the context of a block if you want to make it smaller or if you want to make it bigger. So I'm just going to cover that in this video today. It's a really simple tweak that is handled in the sizing area of the um, design uh, tab. So we're going to design, we're going to shift the size of this image of Bella. Again, if you want to crop the image, like if you didn't want as much to the front or the back of the horse, you're going to have to do that in a separate software. All we're going to be able to do is just change the size and context to this um, area that it takes up in the module. So when I'm in the, of course I hit the gear and then I'm going to go into design and I'm going to go into sizing. Now if you have an image that is smaller and you want to force it to be the same size as the width of whatever it's in the container inside the row, you can click the forceful width button. I will warn you if the image is too small to be sized that large, it will come out looking pixelated. So just be aware that that's a choice. What I recommend is that you just manipulate the width and leave this max width as none or auto. So you can take this and just push it down and it'll make the image smaller within the contained box. So you can go down to very tiny and you have a lot of white space around it up to just a little bit for a little bit more white space. Now in this case, this image might look a little strange like that. So we might want to align that differently so I can center it inside that space so it looks a little bit um, less strange, smaller, or I could go right or left in my module alignment. But that's all I need to do is just to adjust this a little bit and then that's gonna adjust my image. Then I'm gonna click my check box to solidify that change and then three dots and save if I'm happy with how it looks. Just that easy.